Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the tube or the tyre on your electric scooter. This applies if you do not have a split rim. Let all the air out of the damaged tube. And you can use a few tyre leaves if you want. Be careful not to damage the rim. Don't go crazy. Pop off the tyre. And also after this you will need to inflate the new tube as you can see here. And have a bit of air left in it. Because as you see now in a second it's much easier to replace it. Take your time doing this, please don't be rushing because you don't want to pinch anything and you don't want the tube to get wrapped around itself causing you know, unnecessary issues. You can actually, top tip here, I'll tell you now, you can use me seeing silicone spray here. The silicone spray will make it so much more easier, you'll see now in a second, to pop the tire back onto the rim in the first place. Also, put the dust cap back on if it is a 90 degree valve so the valve doesn't pop back out. You will need a bit of force doing this and if you're replacing with a tyre, it's going to be a bit more tricky. You can get a friend to help you as want, well, but do not use tyre levers. Or you can also use your knee, like what I'm doing here, and it will get on with a good bit of force. Make sure you clean the rim, but that silicone spray is amazing. I mean, it's so much better. Then after that, Make sure the tire is sitting well around the rim. And one thing a lot of people seem to forget to do <laughs> is to basically over inflate the tube because you want the tire sitting on the rim as best as possible. To be honest, generally I inflate it, you'll see now, to around 60. Then I deflate it to about 45 or 50 psi, give or take. And then the reason for this is because the better it's sitting on the rim, the less wobble you will have. A lot of people seem to skip this mistake, so I would recommend getting an electric show me pump. That's exactly what I'm using in this video, plus the anti-air loss extension. You don't want to be rushing doing this, because to be honest, I've changed three or four tubes in this electric scooter. And it gets easier every time, but by all means, you know, take your time, have the proper tools. Make sure you put the tire on the correct direction. Make sure you put the disc on the correct direction. As you can see here, use correct tools. Do not strip any screws. Of course, I actually removed the caliper here because it is a bit tricky on this electric scooter popping the tire up, getting sitting in properly with the caliper in place. So I just took it out of the way, find it 10 times easier. Another tip is before you even start any of this, absolutely take pictures of the washer arrangement on your electric scooter some people forget to do this and then they find that it's not sitting right it's scraping it's knocking because they didn't take pictures beforehand what you saw me doing there was i was spinning the tire around to make sure it looked okay and it was sitting correct on the rim which it is i'm putting the caliper back on here and of course do your brake adjustment do not skip this at all it's completely vital and make sure your disc is also clean and clean of contaminants you can use brake disc cleaner also next step would be to give everything a good squeeze if you don't give everything a good squeeze you will find that the wheel is actually off center and sometimes it won't be sitting correct in between the caliper causing scraping, causing knocking. So take your time doing this. You can see again, testing the brake, testing it again. It's pretty easy to adjust mechanical disc brakes. I've already done a video on this. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description to help any of you guys out. Everything seems absolutely fine. Very happy with that. I will be doing a review on my Kugo Kirin M4 Pro very soon. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.